Hi, writers. Today we're going to talk about session seven, counter argument within literary essays. And I was thinking today I had the most interesting lunch. Um, I went and talked to Miss Amida and we were talking about all summer in a day. And I was talking about how at the end of the story, how guilty the kids feel and how that supports the theme, um, you know, that jealousy can make you mean. And Miss Mida said, I don't think that the kids feel guilty at all. Um, it never says that. They don't apologize. And I realized that that was my interpretation of the story and that other people might have another interpretation. And we know as good argument writers, you always include a counterclaim, which means that you may... you you um, acknowledge that other people might have a different opinion than yours, but then you argue to say that yours is better. So today I'm going to teach you that essay writers look for places in their essay where there could be another interpretation or opinion about the text, and they write to argue why their interpretation is the best one. They do this by nodding to the alternative argument and then explaining why that interpretation is not as good as their own. So, I'm going to read you a chunk of my essay, and I want you to think about um, what, what your counterclaim could be in your next essay. Um, by the middle of the story, the reader begins to see that the children in, the pain, in their painful jealousy hurt Margot with words and with force. First, they mock her poetry and her memories, claiming that she never did see the sun. Then they shove her, and finally, they lock her in the closet where she won't see the sun. The text even describes the children's hatred towards Margot more explicitly when Bradbury writes, they hated her pale snow face, her thinness, and her possible future. The other children have never seen the sun, but dream of it every night. The children are jealous that Margot has, has, the children are jealous that Margot has seen the sun and that she is grieving the loss of it. This shows that everyone in the story is hurting the way in their own way, and Margot, because she has lost a son, and the children who have never seen it. So now I'm thinking, could someone debate this point that I've made? Is there an idea that someone might take issue with? I guess someone could maybe say that the children are not jealous. Um, and that might be an idea that someone would disagree with, but no, that doesn't really make sense. I don't think that anyone would say the kids aren't jealous, but maybe someone would say that this short story is not mostly about how jealous they are. Someone may be able to argue that this story is really about the children's meanness. Now, I don't agree with that, but I guess someone could say that the story is really about how mean the kids are, not how jealous they are. So... Um, I found a spot where I could have a little debate, and it's my job to argue why I'm right or more right than someone else who might debate me. I can use a few prompts to help me find the way, um, prompts like these, and I have posted a picture of these prompts. So prompts to argue counterpoints in literary essays. You might say, some might argue, and then you're going to kind of tell what the counterclaim would be, and then you'd say, but they forget in the text it says, and you'd use text support to um, support your thought. This could be a good way that you could um, do your third body paragraph. I think that would be a great idea is to um, introduce a counterclaim. Some might interpret this to mean, and then you explain it, but clearly, then you give your point and then explain why. Um, another one, another counterpoint um, prompt would be, certainly it could be said, and then you give the counterpoint while this is a good point, so you're, you're acknowledging that it's a good point, but then you're going to go into it, why it's, why yours is better and what does it fail to account for. So I think that you guys, um, would do really well to, in your argument essay, um, in your thematic, your next thematic essay to acknowledge a counterclaim and to explain why yours is better. And you could even use text evidence to support it. Um, that would be great. I can't wait to read your next essay. I'm really excited.